Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss about Apex Array. Oh, what is Array and how we can declare and use Array in Apex. First we will see what is Array. Uh, an Array is same as variable but it can store more than one value at a time. We can able to store 10 values into one Array value also. But the only condition with Array is we need to store same data type only. So if you want to store 10 integer value into one variable, we can able to store. But if you want to store uh, 5 integer value, 5 string value, mean you can't able to store. So same data type only the Apex uh, array will, will accept. So let's see the example in Apex array. Go to, go to your developer console, create one method, public void array method um, syntax of the array so data type first we need to give data types and square bracket reference name equal to new and data types and how many values you are going to uh, store in array so I am giving 5 value so this is the basic syntax. This is the basic syntax. Syntax. Syntax of the array. Now we are going to declare one array in uh, one in value one array value integer int1 equal to new of integer 5 value I am going to store 5 value so I have declared 5 value you need to give the square bracket here only it will consider as the array so I am going to now I am going to set the add the value into you know, array add the values into array int1 of 0 first I am going to store the value into 0th element equal to 10 int1 yeah, 1 of first element I am going to give the value is 20 so like that I need I have to give 5 values first element second third and fourth in first zero element I will store the 10 first element 20 third one 30 fourth one 40, fifth one 40 the array index 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 start with 0 and this is the index 1 1 2 3 4 index start 0 2 3 and 4 now let's print this one system dot debug now I'm going to print this array value first save it this one go to your execute now window I am going to give this method array method just execute now and by executing uh, click on debug only so now you can see 10 20 30 40 50 the 5 value has been printed here we have given the 5 values only that 5 values also we have printed like that only we need to set the value into array and uh, how we can able to uh, this one is add array now we are going to uh, add array into uh, some different uh, middle of the uh, values middle of the index like that so into one array of I am going to change the array index to a value into 60 so set the values into In the values into array 
now we can able to check the second uh, second element value is changed or not after set the footer change the array value just save it this go to your execute window click on execute button click and debug only now the third element second position 0 1 2 that uh, second element has been changed to 60 see now we are second element we have given this 60 so it is working correctly now we are going to get the values from array get the values from array for that first we need to declare one integer integer in1 equal to I am going to get that in third element I am going to get now save it this one and print this one int1 third element int1 of third value is so now check this third element I uh, now expected output is 40 in, for this one go to your and execute this one Uh, click on debug only so now the 40 value is printed because uh, we have printed the third value that uh, third value is 40 so 40 is value is printed here now we are going to get uh, get the s object values now uh, some i'm going to get the account values into uh, array means so first declare account of array value acc is some reference variable equal to select id from account limit 5 i am going to get 5 account value into array so now i need to print this all the 5 values into for that we can use for for each method account a colon this is a reference variable that uh, reference we need to give here so after that system dot debug um, account value is first print a value just save it now so now go to the execute window and click on execute method and click on debug only now see that file i account in id value has been printed here this is like that only we can able to get the uh, s object value into array okay now see the some examples so we have seen what is array uh, as i told you already and in single value we can store the multiple values that is called array okay now this is a syntax i, uh, I have given the example also here so data type reference number new data type so like that only we need to give the integer integer is the data type this is a reference variable uh, reference variable how many values you are going to store uh, i have declared here 5 so uh, this is the syntax 
this is uh, the, the here I given the example syntax example so string value you five five values I'm going to declare here like the string integer boolean you can you can give anything double also you can long also you can give so okay next uh, when we need to use array mm, so when we need to use array if we want if you know how many if you know how many values you are going to store in uh, one array value then we can go with the array so if you like uh, here I'm here I know I'm going to store only five values only I'm going to store if I don't know how many values I'm going to store then the array you, you can't use in array so if you give here index of five fifth uh, int one of fifth element equal to 60 mean you will get the uh, error so uh, array index out of bound exception you will get so if you want, if you know how many values you, uh, earlier you, you should know about how many values you are going to store, then only the array concept will be accepted. Otherwise, you can go with the arrays. Okay, uh, it is fixed in size. Once you have uh, set the values five, you can't able to change after that. So array is not a growable in nature. Uh, if you uh, if in runtime you can't able to change the values because you already declared the value array value is five but you got the value from the query you got the seven values so uh, if you up to fifth element it will be stored after you are going, you are going trying to store the sixth element you will get the system dot uh, sorry array index out of one exception you will get so array is not global in nature. So uh, ready-made method does not accept like add, get, remove, and uh, add all. Some these are the some ready-made methods is not available in uh, array. Um, after that, when we need to use collection instead of array, um, if we don't know how many values we are going to store in one variable, then we can go with the collection. So as I already told you, so if we if we don't know how many values we are going to array then we can use the collection like in collection we have list set to map uh, these three concepts available we will discuss about the uh, upcoming uh, videos so ready made it, it, it can it can be increased in the same so in runtime we can able to increase the size so it will support some ready made methods like add get remove add all clone and other than this method also some of the method is available let's see that one so array examples so we already have discussed these examples. So this is the add. We are going to add the values into these uh, values. This is index start with 0, 1, 2, 3. Set the value into array. So we have uh, in second element, I am going to set the value into 10. So um, that the second value is changed to, to 10 value. So get the value from out. This is like that only we need to get the value from array. So the output because if, you, if I trying to get the second element, you will get the 10 element. First you have given the second, well, second element value is third. After that you have set the overwrite the value second element into 10. So now you will get the output is 10. Iterator from array. So next we will see the iterator. So like that only you need to iterate the values from array. So these are the concepts. So I, uh, I hope you have understand something new about array. So what is array and when we need to use array and when we need to use collection instead of array and uh, array examples. Thank you.